Uh, so hi everyone, today we are talking about how to implement neural collaborative filtering in Python using a library called as librecommender. So first of all, you need to pip install librecommender. After that, we will, pip in, we will be importing some important libraries, NumPy, Pandas for loading our data set. Now we will be importing some uh, some functions from libreco also. Libreco is representing librecommender only. That is random split for splitting out test train and evaluation data set that we will be using data, later on. This data set pure. So data set pure is helps us in building out a proper format for training out lib recommender models. Data set pure is being used because uh, this is pure collaborative filtering. Uh, if we would have been using some other method which would be using additional features and not just the interaction of user items, then we would have been using data set pure. So as NCF is major pure collaborative filtering algorithm which just uses user and item interaction we will be using data set pure we have imported our ncf implementation from libreco and evaluation method second is i would be reading out a csv that contains movie lens dot uh, movie lens reviews from user for given movies now one thing to remember is that uh, any data set that you should train using libreco should have four major columns user item label and time timestamp so user item you must have got label is basically either the rating or the implicit feedback. In case of implicit feedback, this column would be one and timestamp is usual timestamp. You can't rename these columns. These name this column should have the same name. So do remember this. I have read the starting one lakh entries for movie lens for my just for the reference purposes, but you can you should be loading the whole data set. Now using the random spread function that we've imported from Libreco, we would be getting our three data set train data evaluation data that is the validation data set and test data set which we have uh, divided in the ratio 0 0.8 0 0.1 0 0.1 now we'll be converting in the pandas data frame movie lens data that we have loaded using the data set pure to building our train data set evaluation data set test data set this is pretty easy now we will be configuring the ncf part so ncf function you, you can see that we have multiple hyperparameters to tune so i will be exploring the i will be talking about them one by one first one is the task equals to rating so uh, eventually if you're using explicit feedback it is suggested that you should be using task equals to rating else if you are using implicit feedback you should be using task equals to ranking right date so there are two options rating and ranking data info equals to uh, basically it is meta information that we got during building our train data set as you can see here data set info so it is nothing but total number of users total number of uh, items that's all Loss type that we are using is cross entropy. Embedding size that we'll be generating for user and item is 16. Number of epochs, learning rate, batch size. I think this is something that is very common for deep learning architectures. The next step is fitting up the NCF model. So we're using a training data set. Negative sampling is set to false because for rating, when we are using a data dataset, this parameter has to be false. If you would have been using ranking, this would have been true. Evaluation data set we have set as evaluation data set and metric is that we are using is cross entropy as I mentioned earlier. Now we are evaluating the whole model. Model equals to NCF, data equals to test data set, negative sample equals to false because as I told rating, so it would always be false. Metric equal to loss. Now for implicit uh, feedback, metrics like precision at the rate k, recall at the rate k, and DCG could have been used. Once the training is done, how can we get the inference result? ncf.predict where we are mentioning prediction for a given a user his preference for the item or the other method can be we can recommend user like for this user recommend me 10 items this in this way this particular trained model can be used 